I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese style mahjong just to practice with my decision making from the onset of a game. If you're just learning how to play Japanese style mahjong, or if you already know how to play but want to improve your game, consider subscribing to my channel. When you do, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to these random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I have a Hanshin indicator. We'll just alternate between east and south. And I have a pair of dice here. I'm just going to roll these dice to randomize where I'm seated at the table just to keep it spontaneous. And then I'm going to pull out some markers to track my random pulls. I think we're going to try six in 15 minutes. This kind of helps to practice identifying which yaku you're going to play, but also train quicker decision making. That's the goal. So let's see which seat we're in. I rolled a three, so that would be west. So we are in west seat and it is the east round. Let's draw Dora. So this would be Dora, two crack is the indicator. So three crack is Dora. This is going to be the first random pull. As a non-dealer, we'll get 13 tiles. Okay, let's see what we can do. No Dora. We have the Dora indicator. Well, we do have some chi potential with Dora, maybe. So I'm thinking we probably should try for Pinfu here. We only have one honor. <laughs> if we go for Pinfu, let's identify the cheese. The chi is three in a sequence. So we have a two, three, four, or this could maybe even be the pair. So we could have our pair identified. Here's a two, three, which is a two sided weight, which is a requirement for pin foo. You have to have a two sided weight. So we'd have to plan it out so that we're waiting for that tile. So this is isolated. That may be a discard. Here's another two sided weight two, a two dot or a five dot. This is isolated. So we could probably get rid of that. And then here we have another two sided weight with Akadora, that red five. So we, here we'd need a three crack or a six crack. So this is isolated. So really we could keep this for a while because maybe we could use it. I think probably that would go away too because we do, we still need one more potential chi here because right now we have three potential chis. I think I would hold that. So I would probably start by discarding the east and then discarding these unless we were to get some chi potential here. If we did get rid of this two crack though, we could go for all simples also because we have no ones or nines in here. So I think I would throw these first because these sevens could help us with an all simple hand. If you're left with an eight, you could span up to a nine. So I would probably go ahead and get rid of that. I think I would go ahead and get rid of the east, the eight and the two and try to make a chi out of these. Go for all simples and pin foo. If you would do something different there, let me know. And of course reach, because pin foo is concealed, so we could also reach. So that would be potentially three yaku. That would be a nice hand right there. 
That one turned out okay. If you would do something different though, let me know. So let's do another one. We'll switch to south round and we'll just say we're seat 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is south. So we'll put up a 2 just so I remember we're in seat 2 and it's south round. Okay. All right, non dealers get 13 tiles. So here we go. Oh, let's pull Dora. So six BAM is Dora. We're on the second random pull. Let's see what we can do here. We do have two honors singles though, but we have two pair here in dots. Okay, six BAM is Dora. We could potentially use that here if we drew a six BAM and try to plan for Dora with that seven eight. So I'm thinking probably again Pinfu and Reach would be good here. We have a potential Chi here, potential Chi here, potential Chi. Here we have two pair. We wouldn't be able to keep both of them. So maybe what I would do here is get rid of that one dot because here's a potential Chi and this could be the pair. So we Chi, 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 Chi pair four cheese and a pair. So these would go away first. Hopefully we would be able to get that six BAM. We need a two sided weight. We do have that here with both the seven, eight and the two, three. So either one of these could be the two sided weight. So really we just need to draw in that six BAM and two dot for pin foo and reach. If you would do something different, let me know, but I think that's what I would do here. Get rid of these first. Okay. Back to East round and I rolled an nine. Nine is East. So that's seat one. We get 14 tiles this time. So we're on the third random pull here. We have a pair of white dragons. That's a nice Yaku. And let's see what, what else we could do here. We have a mixture. We have four dots, four cracks. Oh, but we have we have three pair. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should play uh, Toy Toy, also called All Pwn. Pwn, pwn those, pwn those, pwn those. Oh, I forgot to draw Dora. Three dot would be Dora, so I would hold that. Try to pair that up and pwn it. So I would get rid of these one by one, depending on how things are discarded and exposed. Anytime a discard goes down or an exposure is made for any of these tiles, I would follow suit and discard and then try to set myself up to get more pairs. So we need two more pair in here somewhere to make this work. It is East round. We're East players. So these two aren't technically going to give us any score we probably could go ahead and get rid of those and just hold these for pairing up and go for all pwn. That's what I would do here. If you would do something different, let me know. These are all isolated. So I, you know, you might think, well, why not go for all cheese? Well, this is the only chi. These, we'd have to break up this pair with the four, if we wanted to do that, I suppose we could, but I think we'd be better off going for all pwn and maybe pair up. That's what I would do here. Okay. 
now we are on south round and we're going to say we're in seat three so i'll put up a three on the dice as a non-dealer we'll get 13 tiles oh let's draw dora so five crack is the indicator therefore six crack is dora let's see what we can do here no dora but we do have yeah i don't know we do have a pair of eights here there's a one two three i think i would try for pin foo on this one too maybe even well i was thinking maybe even all simples to stack some yaku here but we have all these would have to go away we'd have five discards if we went for all simples so i think i would just hold on to all of these just to see how things went but i definitely think pinfu would be the yaku here we would just discard those right here and try to do all cheese let me know if you would do something different here but that's i think what i would do we do have two pair, the eight and the three here. But I think because we only have two honors, if we were to play a half flush, we would have to get rid of five discards. If we were to play all pawn, we only have two pair. So I just think two discards with a plan for pin foo and reach is probably the best okay back to east round I rolled a 10 so 10 is south non-dealer 13 tiles okay oh let's pull dora oh okay east south west north so north is dora north is dora we do not have dora we only have one honor so anytime we have one honor my mind goes to pin foo right away because that means that we have a lot of number tiles and in this case we have mixed suits so to me i'm thinking probably pinfu again so we have isolated tiles there and there all all those are isolated that's not good here's a pair this leaving that isolated there's a potential chi potential chi i almost wonder with all these discards that would have been six discards oh i still think that's probably the best plan just try for pinfu maybe keep the ones and the nine maybe we could do something with chanta or terminals in all where you have ones and nines in everything maybe i mean that's a pretty significant number in which case probably keep that eight eight nine one two one two three seven eight nine so maybe these would be the discards right here this we could keep for a potential seven, eight, nine. This we could keep for a potential one, two, three. Okay, so I think that's what I would do. I'd start by discarding these three. 
try for either I think I would do these first because if we did go for pin foo we could maybe use the six so I think either pin foo reach or terminals in all and get rid of these and no Dora this time if you would do something different here let me know in the comment section write it in there okay now one more back to south round and we're going to say we're in seat four so we're non-dealer this time non-dealer 13 tiles And nine bam is Dora. No Dora. One honor. Only two dots. But we do have some pairs in here. So I think what I would try for here is pin foo and reach again. We have a pair. This would be isolated. Potential chi and two-sided weight. Potential chi and here's a chi right there including Akadora. I would throw the white first and then probably the nine. We do have one three one and one if we got the twos and maybe the threes we could potentially do a mixed triple g so i would probably hold those or this one at least for a little bit i would throw the nine and the white first and go for pin foo and reach here if we pair it up we could do all pwn we do have two pair but that's not a whole lot I think we have a better chance of drawing into pin foo, which again is all three in a sequence, all G's. Okay. I think this is a really great practice to kind of desensitize you from trying to figure out what yaw could go for. It's really great to identify all the different yaku too and give yourself these random pulls to learn all those yaku and see the different possibilities because there are many give it a try yourself if you haven't done that yet and let me know what you think about it if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet consider subscribing and then click that bell so you get notification for when i post new videos that way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or maybe pick up on an insight into the game that will give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.